Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a Savage X Fenty haul. So if you wanna see or check out the loungewear, stay tuned. All right guys, so as we know, um, I dabbled in the Savage X Fenty bras, um, lingerie. So now let's explore some of the loungewear. Um, I know that a lot of people aren't necessarily into the whole lingerie, but they do have a lot more to offer. So I figured we'd kind of give it a whirl and you guys can comment down below and tell me uh, what your favorite pieces are or if there's anything else that you would like to see from Savage X Fenty. So, for size reference, I am a true 3XL in um, straight across the board in almost all stores. Um, when you see me get like a 4X, 5X, 6X, it's usually like those weird overseas brands where um, a 4X or 5X basically equate to like an American 2X. Um, so you'll see me sometimes just get like the biggest size they carry in those stores just to make sure that it fits. Um, this is not the case. So with Savage X Fenty, what I have found is that their 3X tends to run a little small, if not exact. So everything that I have here is in the 3X, which is actually the biggest size that they go up to. So I know we said loungewear, but I would be remiss not to mention this little nightgown. So um, this is a mesh nightgown. Show that for you guys. Okay, it's really stretchy. It has a cross back and dips kind of low. Now this is meant to be a gown. It is really, really short. Um, in the side by side, you're gonna see that I paired it with, um, well you really can't see, but I paired it with the bralette that I got in the other um, Savage X Fenty video. So the bralette from that video is what I have underneath here, the one with the little drawstring. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of the bralette from that video that I'm wearing. And in the side by side, I also have on a pair of just black biker shorts underneath because this is really short. Um, I did pull up the biker shorts just so you guys can get an idea of where this nightie falls, but it's more like a teddy. Like it's gonna sit right underneath your butt, right like mid thigh. So it's pretty short, but it is extremely comfortable, extremely um, stretchy, and very, 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 um, adjustable as far as like the strings and everything else to be honest with you guys um on this one i was sized down come on savage on this one i was sized down and you guys have not heard me say that yet with savage x50 so that's a good thing so if you were actually like a 4x I would say go for the mesh items with uh, Savage X Fenty because if you guys remember in the last review that I did with the flower shorts, which I'll insert, those were extremely stretchy and a little bit big too. So yeah, it seems like with the mesh stuff, it kind of fits like a 4X. So keep that in mind. Um, next thing I wanted to try, they had a lot of these floating around the website. It's like a mesh top. Um, it's for loungewear, but it's meant to look like, almost like a sports bra. So this is how the front goes. And it has this little knot in the front to do like a ruching effect. So it's like that. And then you have the back like this. So this actually does come with a bottom to match, but the bottom to match is <clears throat> also mesh, crisscross all the way down low to the back, and it's crotchless. So um, yeah, I wanted a matching set, but I didn't need it to be crotchless. 
okay? So I opted to get these pants here. Now these pants here are like a, a cotton jogger, so to speak, like a loose pajama pants type. And it does have the Savage X Fenty um, wording, branding all around the band um, in that same lavender color. These have like these little bitty holes. I don't know what they're called. I know there's like a name for the type of material that has these little holes in it, but you can't see anything in it. And as you can see in the try on haul, um, I put those on with that top and it it almost matches perfectly. Like even though they're totally different materials, they look really good together. So comfortable. Oh my God. So comfortable. So if that's something that you are considering as far as um, the, the mesh top also comes in black, you can always pair it with something that's a little bit different because they sell a lot of the same colors. This is how the bottom is, so it doesn't drag. It's gonna stop right at your ankle. Um, the fit was really good, really comfortable. Um, to me, I like these better than the Skims leggings. I like these better, so I'm actually probably going to um, get multiple colors in these because I liked how they look and I think that they were flattering. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to try in regards to the loungewear, um, I wanted to try out just their regular leggings. Like they have a lot of cute leggings with the branding on them and I wasn't sure how they were gonna fit. In all the pictures on all the models, they fit pretty tight. So I was like, Let's, let me just give it a whirl. So these are a pair of the gray ones. Same thing at the bottom, kind of tapered. This one has the Savage X Fenty all around the side, but in gold. Um, these things are not see-through at all. Extremely, extremely sturdy. They have stretch to them, but not as much as the others. Not an extreme amount of stretch. The band sits pretty comfortable though. And then at the bottom, it does have this um, Savage X Fenty, like the lines. It doesn't say anything, but it has the lines right here. I am really short, so I was trying to show you guys the the lines at the bottom. It doesn't stretch out, but I need a I need a different lens. So if any of you are familiar with camera lenses, they're very expensive and they don't really give you much detail on the angles. So if you know what lens I can purchase that would allow for me to have a longer view this way than not necessarily a wider view, please comment down below because I would definitely appreciate that. I've been doing research after research after research. I literally Googled what lens for try-on hauls. Nothing, so much appreciated, much obliged. Definitely don't want to spend all that money and get the wrong one. So back to these. Amazing, I love them. They definitely fit completely and totally different from the um, lavender ones. Now, I will say this, this time I did get a pretty good sale in regards to my Savage X Fenty stuff. So as far as prices are concerned, okay, so the uh, gray uh, leggings are called the Forever Savage Jersey Leggings, and they're normally $39.95, but I actually got them on sale for 20 bucks. That's the gray sweats. Um, as far as the Savage in Jersey Knit sweatpants, that's what they're considered, sweatpants. Um, these were $34.95, these were full price. Um, the Soft Mesh Crop Tank, this is actually a brand new item. So this was $24.95. And then the Soft Mesh Open Back Night Slip was $49.95. Now, the last time I did the Savage X Fenty Haul, I told you guys that I had just been charged for the next month because remember, it was such a long shipping time. So by the time I got those items, I had been charged for um, December. By the time I ordered this stuff, it was um, probably like about, it was January 9th. So I ordered this stuff on January 9th and had already been charged on January the 6th. So I actually had two credits sitting there for $99.90. 
um, the total of everything came to $149.80. Um, I got $19.96 off of the purchase. Free shipping with the VIP credits. I only paid $40. So I paid $40 for all of this. Now, customer service. Because we're big on customer service around these parts, okay? I was trying to purchase this stuff and apply my credits because again, I had two months credits. And it wouldn't let me. So I quickly called Savage X Fenty. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm trying to buy some stuff right now, but it's not letting me apply my credit. And that's when she was like, oh, you can't, she said, because the leggings are on sale, you can't apply that your credit to, when there's sale items in there or promotional items. She said, but we're gonna go ahead and do it for you. I said, that's what I like. She said, check your cart, it's been applied. And then I went through everything and she was like, you know what, you use PayPal for your, um, she said, you use PayPal. So we can't, um, I can't do it over the phone for you, but I'm gonna stay on the phone, make sure everything works. So she stayed on the phone with me, make sure everything went through, that everything did. So I just wanna say, you know, in every video, I tell you guys about the products, I tell you guys about the shipping, I tell you guys about the customer service. There was a small hiccup with me using my credits, but they were like, bam, 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 okay? So pretty great, right? So, I mean, I know at the end of the day, the credits are my money, so it's not like, um, it's not like I got a huge deal, like I only had to pay $50 for all this stuff. But when you think about it, um, those these tights or leggings were not on sale to everybody. They were on sale to me because I was VIP. So yes, I was still charged the $49, but I was able to use it towards purchases and I was able to get exclusive pricing. Um, they also have like a Valentine's Day VIP box that's coming out. They've already sent me the preview for it. I can purchase that early before it sells out. It's like a three piece set and I get it at a discounted price. So. I know I was a little bit skeptical in the beginning, but I am really enjoying my Savage X50 membership. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Like, I am sold. Now that I know how to navigate the sizing and I know what to look for, I know not to get anything that has to clip in the back bra-wise. Um, I know that the cup size is gonna be a little bit off, so to make sure it's something that is, you know, not, that is stretchy or like a bralette or something of that nature. So yeah, um, I'm passing those tips along to you guys. I think that if you are straight size, smaller than me, um, you would not have a problem with any of these. I think you would have to downsize. Um, everybody would probably need to go down a size on the uh, mesh and then everything else would be true to size. The good thing about the Savage X50 website is when you go to look at the item, there's the model, but if you scroll down, it'll say see the model in 1X, see the model in extra small, see the model in 3X. So you can see what this stuff will look like on your actual size. Okay, so it's not a lot of people out there doing that. So that is all I have for you guys today. And as you know, I love you. I mean it. Bye. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.